Welcome back to the crochet crowd as well as my friends at joanne.com. This is the Bernat baby bundle stitch along and today is week number two as we continue to make this beautiful baby blanket. Today we're going to take our rounds number one through five that we already have completed and now we're gonna go from rounds number eight all the way to 32 and we're gonna get the majority of this afghan done within today's video. So without further ado let's uh, flip to the next page and let's get started on this. Remember the more information on this video has the link in order to access this pattern if you'd like to download or save it. So the next set of instructions is step number two. It's on page three of five. There's five pages all together in this particular pattern. Again you can download that in the more information link of our video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do rounds number six all the way to 32 but do not fasten off. We just want to be able to uh, finish right there and then we're gonna continue in the next week in order to get it done. So we wanna finish off on round number 32. So let's take a look at the diagram. Do not let this scare you. This is all consistency in the way that it's growing and it's a matter of getting it started. So what I have to do at this point is that we have to establish this beginning right in round number six which is our next round and then once we get that established round number seven is, is gonna be the key point in order for you to get it to grow. You will notice that all of these are in the same position each and every time and because of that they're really easily to find. And again you see the chaining is six that it's gonna continue up that we were doing in the last few rounds in the last uh, stitch or sorry last video and uh, you can see it's very easy and it's like a mirror effect. So what happens on one section will happen on another. So let's without further ado let's uh, move on to round number six. So in round number six we're gonna continue up and we're going to chain up one where we are and the first uh, three stitches are gonna be all one single crochet and then we're gonna put in a chain two and then right where this one third one is in we're gonna put another single crochet in and then the next two are gonna be a single crochet and we're gonna chain six and do the exact same as we move all the way around. So remember so we're just just look at it as like you got three single crochets on either side of the center point and the middle are stuck together and you can see in the next rounds round number seven whenever there is these uh, chain two spaces there's always one single crochet in there and that's what helps it to get that nice angle that we see within this blanket. So let's move along to round number six. So carrying up in the project I left my stitch marker right where I have it so I remember that this is the last section as it comes all the way around. So we're then going to chain up one and we're gonna single crochet into the first three. So just go one into the first one, next one, two and the next one is three. So on this third one I'll, all I want you to do is chain two and then come into that exact same stitch again in single crochet and then single crochet the next two in a row that are completely left on that side before you hit that chain six. Okay so you see how that worked out so you have a chain two right there. So let's chain our six and continue to move around. So one, two, three, four, five and six and jump over. So the first three will all have a single crochet in them. So one, two and three and then chain two and then go into the exact same one as the last one that you just put in there. Okay and then the last two are one single crochet each. And then you jump over again. So one, two, three, four, five and six jump over. So the first three each have one single crochet. So one, two and three it's followed by chain two and then into that same stitch again single crochet into that one plus the last two that are existing on this side. And then chain six again and continue to do that on each side. So please do that all the way around. So now coming up to the other side of the project I'm just coming around. You can see that the yarn changed over to pip squeak on me. It's great. I like this stuff. And then I chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then you come in and you join it. So this right where the stitch marker was was easy for me to tell that that's where I had started before. So I just join it to the first single crochet to finish off like that. So that was round number six. So let me show you round number seven which is the consistent round then all the way to number 32 and you're gonna wanna keep an eye out for that as well. So let's uh, go back to the chart. So let's begin round number seven. You're gonna chain up one and you're going to notice that there's gonna be one single crochet in each until you get to the chain two. So in each of the chain two in order to keep this consistent and you will see that it will actually create a point up at the top by you doing it long enough you won't see it right away 
but what happens is is that you're going to go into that chain two, chain two again and then back into that chain two and then continue to grab these single crochets and match them and then join it with a uh, jump over with the chain six and continue that all the way around. So let's try round number seven. So let's begin round number seven. We're gonna chain up one first and then right where we've done the join there's gonna be one single crochet. So we're just gonna move along and whatever single crochet is already there we're just gonna match it. So you don't have to really think about for counting or anything. So you have three in a row. Okay that was there. Okay and so what's happened is that you have your chain two. So you're going to put in a single crochet first, chain two and then single crochet back into that same chain two space. Okay, so then these chain twos build up on each other. So then you're gonna work down the single crochets that are already there. So there's only three of them in this particular case. So one, two, and three. And then you keep moving around. So chain and join it with our chain up six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then jump over and then start the next one. So this case, the first three. Okay, and I'm just looking for the single crochets anyway. I don't really have to count. So the first three are gonna be single crochet and now you've got the chain two. So it's gonna be single crochet in there followed by another chain two and single crochet there. Just like you see there. And now work your way down the other side. So there's one, two and three that's left for you. And keep on doing that all the way around for number seven. So I'll show it to you one more time. So chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and jump over. Go to the first one and the next one and you keep filling them in until you run them out and now the next one is the chain two right here. So it's gonna be single crochet, chain two and single crochet into the same one and then move down the other side. Just one single crochet into each and keep doing that all the way around. So chain up six and keep moving. So I'll see you here at the end of this round. So when you're coming all the way around you still have to do your chain six and you're just going to join it to where you had. So the stitch marker is indicating to me I've gone all the way around. Sometimes it's hard to tell. You just join it to the first single crochet that you had started with and then that's it. So you're going to continue then the same pattern that you just started. You can see now the points are here. You can see that their chain twos are happening now. You can still see you have the chain sixes going on and let's go back to the pattern because it's all now consistent all the way to number 32. Now all rounds now to 32 are going to be the same. The only difference is, is that these chain two spaces create an extra stitch for you to use each and every time so that it grows out equally as you can see. So you start off just the same way. So number eight so you're just gonna single crochets and then into the chain two space, chain two and then into the chain two space again and continue all the way around. So let's repeat row number eight or round number eight and then I'm gonna leave for, for you to get all the way to number 32 and then meet me next week here on the stitch along. So starting row number eight we chain up one and use your fingertips for this yarn here. It's not a big deal and you're going to just kind of match each one of the stitches as you go. So if you use your sting, uh, fingertips and with this big extra yarn it's really quite easy to operate and then all of a sudden you have to go into the chain two space. So it's the same as you know. So single, chain two and single and work your way down then the other side. So starting here. So in this case it's round number eight. There's a total of four stitches if you wanna keep count. If it makes it easier especially using this yarn that's completely up to you. So chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then coming back onto the other side here. So just you can feel your fingertips and see the, the points of my fingers coming through. I can feel that's the stitch. So if you're not sure just use your fingertips and feel where these stitches are. Okay as you as you go in. So some people have a hard time using this yarn but this is how people are able to look away when they do um, their crochet. You'll see people like me that can look away and talk. That's how they do it. Use your fingertips and so it's a great idea to learn how to do that. So in the chain two space it's single crochet, chain two and single crochet and then working your way down the other side. So because this is um, the pip squeak as well sometimes you can get it into the wrong area as well and it's really not a big deal because it is pip squeak. You really can't see the stitch work because it's nice and fluffy and then you keep moving around. So one, two, three, four, five 
and six. So what I want you to do now is that I want you to complete our rounds all the way to 32 for me and then we're gonna meet back up next week which will be the final week of doing this blanket. The majority of today's work will be the majority of the afghan because there's not much to do after that but the fun start uh, stuff starts as soon as you come back then on week number three. So here I am at the end of round number 32 and it took me about four hours to get from this section all the way up here. So it was just a matter of having a nice evening. So in real time I actually filmed yesterday afternoon and I worked on it in the evening yesterday and now I'm ready again this morning. So it's really a very quick uh, baby blanket to work on so in this and we're gonna create a nice border and we're also gonna be dealing with all of these step laddering things that you've been making all along. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Joanne as well as thecrochetcrowd.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.